to robustly classify unseen data, this paper aggregates prominent features into class representatives and infer by matching new data to them. So this paper I'm reading today is called CRL, Class Representative Learning for Image Classification from uh, Chadra Shekhar, a member of IEE, uh, and Yung Lee, member of IEEE. Uh, it's, the paper is from 2020 and abstract is following. Building robust and real-time classifiers with diverse data sets are one of the most significant challenges to deep learning researchers. It is because there is a considerable gap between a model built with training, seen and real unseen data in application. Recent works including zero-shot learning, ZSL, have attempted to deal with this problem of overcoming the apparent gap through the transfer learning. This paper, we propose a novel model called class representative learning model that can be especially effective in image classification influenced by ZSL. In the CRL model, first, the learning step is to build class representatives to represent classes in the datasets by aggregating prominent features extracted from convolutional neural network CNNs. Second, inferencing the step in CRL is to match between the class representatives and new data. The proposed CRL model demonstrated superior performance compared to the current state of the art research in ZSL and mobile deep learning. The proposed CRL models has been implemented and evaluated in parallel environment using Apache Spark for both distributed learning and recognition. An extensive experimental study on the benchmark datasets ImageNet 1K, Caltech 101, Caltech 256, Cypher 100 shows that CRL can build and class distribution model with drastic improvement in learning and recognition performance without sacrificing accuracy compared to the state-of-the-art performances in image classification. The goal is to propose an innovative model called class representative learning for image classification for seen and unseen data. In this model, we focus on creating a universal representation called class representatives using the source environment, in which is typically present in the learning model. Which are exposed. Instead, we explore universal representatives that could be used for classification. The contribution of this paper can be summarized as follows. The proposed model, CRL, is an efficient way of building class-level class classifiers by utilizing features for a pre-trained model in conversational neural network for classification problems. The CRL uh, has the ability to build models for a similarity distribution of CRs for given data set and estimate CR accuracies in the classification. A comprehensive evaluation of the model has been conducted with deep learning models, zero-shot learning using four benchmark data set in terms of time and accuracy. In addition, CRL was compared with the mobile net models. And the final Part of the juice of this paper is following. Conclusion. We present class representative learning CRL model that is based on the class level classifiers built by class by class that would be representative of instances of a specific class by utilizing activation feature for convolutional neural network corresponding to new cases. The characteristic of CRL are high efficiency being compared to the lightweight, being compact and lightweight. It was possible because CRs can be generated in parallel and distributed manner and the inferencing can be conducted through matching new inputs with CRs. Comprehensive evaluations have been conducted with CRL model compared to the state-of-the-art approaches both in classification and zero-shot learning using four benchmark datasets. The CRL model was shown to increase accuracy and reduce considerable times building CNN-based classifiers. So that was the spice of the paper that must flow. I will now go into, uh, into more detail, read more from the paper. Um, if you would like to stay, you will be very much welcome. Please do not like and never subscribe to this uh, channel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so now I continue in more detail. First by hiding this window. Okay, so introduction.
Uh, recent advances in deep learning have improved state of the art uh, research using data driven approaches and application wide range of domains. However, building robust data classifiers with diverse data this is one of the most significant challenges to deep learning researchers. It is because there is a considerable gap between the built model built with training, seen data, and real unseen data in applications. The current deep learning research assumes strong boundaries between data, between data and models, and between models and deep learning. The new paradigm focuses on universal representation of diverse data sets. Uh, it has been increasing attention on zero-shot learning, ZSL, and one-shot, few-shot learning, FSL. These efforts aim to build ability to learn from few examples or even without seeing them. Alternatively, it is required to represent and match new instances of a semantic space, which result in minimizing training efforts and maximizing learning outcomes. They focus on active transfer learning by fully leveraging information from pre trained models, the seamless integration of unlabeled data, from unseen uh, seen classes is possible through the expressive representations of multimodal embeddings, including semantic, word, visual embeddings. However, there are notable limitations of ZSL and FSL approaches. Many of them are relying on semantic embeddings in a common semantic space, having a generative model. The recent ZSL works demonstrated their effectiveness in transfer from prior experiences to new classes, which is a form of transfer learning. The most used semantic space in ZSL is the model supported by joint embedding framework called label embedding space, containing a combination of visual embeddings and word embeddings, or engineering semantic space called attribute space, which uses attribute annotations of the ZSL model. In contrast to prior work, we mainly extract the deep neural network features learned from visual inputs of scene classes, creating image representatives. We do not rely on any other features, such as attribute annotations or word embeddings. Similar to our approach in the feature extraction, there are active efforts for extracting important features from convolutional neural networks, such as inceptions on ResNet. Mahederan et al. analyzes the representation of the features through inventing the fully connected layers. So, built-in class activation map using the NN feature for localization of object images for the schematic engine reasons. Unlike 1371, we are interested in generating class representatives using CNN features. The goal is to propose an innovative model called Class Representative Learning, CRLs, for image classification for seen and unseen data. In this model, the focus is on creating a universal representation called Class Representatives using the source environment, which is typically pertain deep learning models. Given this goal, um, architecture improvements are not our purpose. Instead, we explore universal representatives that could be used for classification. It is the desire to enable the universal representation to be trained from any existing architectural data set with a reduced effort and resources. The minimum requirement for CRL model is to have a suitable source pertaining TNN model that can be mapped to a given data set target. The CRL model can be classified as transfer learning called uh, uh, meta learning. The basic idea behind transfer learning is to use previously learned knowledge of different domains of attacks. Sierra model is based on transactive approach that aims to project the target data onto the source environment from extraction of features by mapping to unify the input spaces. The transactive property in transfer learning is to derive the values of unknown functions for points of interest, class based, on instance based from given data source environment or source domain. The CRL model poses the property of being selective during inferencing. In other words, CRL model can classify an input image to either source labels or target labels or both. Due to this property, CRL model can behave like traditional classification model. Um, the convolutional neural network based classifiers tend, tend to be higher in parametric requirements to achieve state of art accuracy. To show the superiority of C class representation learning model uh, developed in this study, we have compared our uh, class of representation learning model uh, against the other state of the art deep learning models. Um, the contributions are follows. The proposed model is an efficient way of building class level classifiers by utilizing features from pre trained modeling conversion and for classification problems. The CRL has the ability to build models for a simple 
similar to the distribution of CRs for given data set and estimates CR accuracies in the classification. And comprehensive evaluation of the proposed model has been conducted with the planning models that are shot learning using four that benchmarks in the terms of an accuracy. In addition, CRL been compared with mobi mobile net models. Transfer learning. The recent studies have indicated the importance of transfer learning that aims to maximize learning outcome by transferring the model developed for task building a model on another task. NASNet explored the possibility of transferring from what learned from small data sets to large data set, ImageNet 1K through searching and utilizing correct building blocks from small data set. Uh, he et al. have shown that pretend models with an existing data sets like Im ImageNet 1K or with small data sets subset of MS codes of incredible influence in computer vision. Initialization with pre-trained models or evaluating the pre-trained features. DL community has extensively studied learning, transfer learning. The transfer learning from image 1K in DECAF then showed that substantial improvement compared to the learning from image features. Also present a meta learner. Do, 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 do. However, different. Our model is similar to feature representation transferred, defined by Pan et al. However, the difference is that our model was encoded based on aggregation of high-level features extracted from co convolutional neural networks. In our paper, we used a pre-trained model only for feature extraction, but training is not required with new data. After the fully connected layers are removed from the entire network, the rest will be mainly used for feature extractions for new data. Thus, the use of pre-trained model in our study is different from others since we only use it as a reference model for extracting features for new data. Universal representation. Ubernet is an universal CNN that allows multiple tasks in unified architecture efficiently. It is thought, it is though the end to end network training with a single training set for diverse datasets and low memory complexity. Universal representations perform well for visual domains in a uniform manner and proven to be efficient for multiple domain learning in effectively small neural networks. Rebuff et al. demonstrated that universal parametric families of networks could share parameters among multiple domains using the parallel and residual adapter modules. Similar to our work, all these works represented universal representation for multiple domains of, or multiple tasks. However, unlike CRL, none of them focus on dynamically generating models for multiple domains. In this paper, we define source environment for providing basis feature selection as well as uniform representation of the heterogeneous data sources for effective deep learning. Feature selection is a crucial step in machine learning since it defines and influences the performance of the machine learning. Uh, as the ranchers is classified to perform well. However, uh, Kapoor et al. Uh, paper 22 observed that finding useful features for multi-class classification is not suitable due to the volume of high dimensional feature space as well as sparseness over the search space. Dictionary reading was presented to the dependent subspace of both dictionaries by efficient layer using dimensional layer for efficient representation of class of images. Critical contribution of this work is the reduction of sparsity constraint and improvement of accuracy by identification of the most essential components of the observed data. From the exported, extracted set of features from the images and what find them with these bags of visual words, we will build, a build up visual CR vector class representation vector for each class by combining these primitive features. The visual CRs will be used for efficient learning as well as recognition with large-scale multi-class data set. Okay, lightweight deep learning. Increasing demand for mobile applications. Weight compression is primitive technique. As the extension of a mobile net, new layer, namely invented residual narrow with narrow bottleneck to create lightweight model. In a NASNet mobile new paradigm called Neural Architecture Search was proposed with re reinforcement learning for knowledge transfer. In general, architecture changes are typically considered to achieve lightweight model. In CRM model, we have obtained lightweight model through flexibility of representation concerning the class. Matching networks. Short classification is to 
label new classes which are not seen in your training but through matching with a few examples of each of these classes. The matching networks are similar to weight nearest neighbor classifier in the embedding space. The embedding and the matching networks were built as a form of sampled mini batches called episode during training. Notable matching networks is similar to our in terms of mapping attention based embedding to query to a query set for predicting classes. However, our model is different from these networks since we can build the dynamic model for multiple classes by assembling a set of single class classifier called class representative built one by one independently. Meta learning approach for TNI aims to build custom model for each episode based on short term memory LSTM. Unlike others, building each episode over multiple episodes, the prototypical network 50 built a class prototype for building it. the mean, for completing the mean of training set in the embedding space and find nearest class prototype for query set as inferencing. This approach is very similar to our work in terms of building the class prototype as an abstraction of the class by learning and embedding of metadata into the shared space. Recently, Wang et al. 62 extended the performance zero-shot learning and few-shot learning using latent space distributions of discriminated features representations. Similar to our approach, we they used only the feature extractor of the CNN model. However, they are different from our work in sense of following aspects. First, they used variational autoencoder, while we are using vector space model with a cosine similarity measurement. Two, they built a model for all classes in any given data set, while they are building a model class by class. They focused on learning and embedding on the metadata into the shared space. However, in our case, we we'll built class representations class by class. Thus, once the CR is generated, there is no dependence between CRSs. Due to the independence between CRSs, we can build multi-class models dynamically. Zero-shot learning. Defined as a semantic encoding for predicting new classes by using standard features as derived from semantic, all well known works as uh, understanding the explicit attributes, which have been nearly very adapted from the original definition of the semantic knowledge in the zero shot learning, focused on attributes solely based on visual feature learning. Chipping uh, on a feature adaptation and our classifiers. Okay, okay. According to this categorization, CRL model can be classified as an image representation semantic space and instance-based method specifically for projection method. The projection method provides insights for labeled instances from an unseen class by projecting both instance feature space and semantic space prototype to a shared space. Table 1 shows existing zero-shot learning ZSL models that we were that were compared with our model in evolution section. Most of the recent work includes two kinds of semantic spaces, namely label semantic spaces and attribute spaces. Label embedding spaces focus on learning projection strategy connects image semantic features to labels in which labels are represented high dimensional embedding using what Okay, once more, label embedding spaces focuses on learning a projection strategy that connects image semantic features to labels, in which labels are represented a high dimensional embedding using word to vec or gloss. Image features in the label embedding spaces are typically learned from the convolutional neural networks. Attribution space or Probability prediction initially focuses on the pre-training attribute classifiers based on the source data, where an attribute is defined as a list of terms, so terms describing various properties of a given class. Each attribute forms the dimensions of class value is typically given if the class contains an attribute or not. 
pure image representation, class base ZSL, is rarely observed. One of the first works is image representation, first fish. Okay. Class representative learning model. The significance of the class representative learning model is its component competence to project input data to global space that is specified by the activation of neurons in the pre-trained model such as CNN. The space of the CRL model is similar to universal representations proposed by Tamazo C53, where visual elements in the configuration scale and context can be encoded in result of transforming. The fundamental concept of CRL model is its ability to create representatives of class in parallel and independently without depending on other classes. As shown in figure 2, CR model is composed of two primary components such as CR generation and CR based inferencing. The model, is, model used to evaluate CR model is the inception free model that was trained with ImageNet 1K. The pretend model is source environment for CR model where no learning is happening, but source environment was mainly used as a reference standard for producing feature vector of the input data space. Figure 2 shows source environment and the figure 2B shows the process by which CRs of how the new image is projected on the source environment and is mapped onto the CRs for classifications. Figure 1. Types of semantic states. Problem set up. CR definition and property. Activation feature map. Activation feature map uh, AFM is a vector of feature extracted from the base model that will be defined by pretend model for any given instance. For given input, AFM represents the features that are defined by activation of neurons in the base model. The AFM dimensional is the number of neurons in the selected layer of the base model. In other words, it is number of distinct neuron activation neurons occurring in the corpus. In the n-dimensional FM forms the basis for the semantic space that is defined in zero-shot learning. Class representative. Class representative, CR, is a representative of k instances of a single class. <coughs> the activation feature map of CR is a unique characteristic pattern of the visual expression that occurs as a result of the deep learning process in conversion neural networks. Thus, the CR is an abstraction of instances of a class by computing an aggregation of average mean vectors of AFM for the K instances. The CR characterizes the A class and differentiates one class against another. The class representative CR for class C is represented as and dimensions. Each dimension corresponds to separate feature. If a feature occurs in CR, its value in the vector is non-zero. Step one, CR generations, source target domains, source environment, feature maps, class one, class n, class representative one, to class representative n. Step two, CR based inferencing. So the images, are passed through the network, they are passed for matching for different classes, then we get embedding and do cosine similarity. So class representative is a representative of k instance of a single class. The activation feature map of CR is a unique characteristic pattern of the visual expression that occurs as a result of deep learning process in conversion neural networks. The CR is an abstraction of instance of n class by combining an aggregation of RH mean vectors of AFMs for k instances. The CR characterizes a class and differentiates one class against another. The class representative CRs for class C is represented as CR with n dimensions. Each dimension corresponds to a separate feature. If a feature occurs in CR, the vector is non zero. Class representative classifier maps an input space I on the dimension class feature space to dimension I cos quite C. The CR model first maps input space to class representative feature space with n dimension. Bum, bum, bum. 
feature space. Class representative feature space. Class representative feature space, CRFS, is an n dimensional semantic feature map which each in which each of the n dimensions represented values of a semantic property. These properties may be categorical and contain real value data or models from deep learning methods. CR generation. Class representative are generated using nearest neighbor prototype strategy by aggregating with feature vectors. The nearest mean feature vector with instances of given class frames. Class representative is computed <coughs> for given class. Specifically, an average feature mean operation was used to summarize the instances of a class. For each class, the instances of each feature in the feature maps are aggregated into a simple mean feature in order to create its CR. For class representative generation, we consider the transform target data set as an input. And we emphasize this uh, parallelism and independence. So once more, for each class, the instances of each feature in the feature maps are aggregated into simple mean feature in order to create its CR. The CR is an aggregated vector of mean features for all features in feature maps. Okay, I'm running a bit low on time and uh, energy. So I will still Finish the basics. Fermentation is from the design, data set, sci fi 100, classification, performance, results, groups of cosine similarity. Okay, I really don't have much more energy now, but to. Uh, Discussion. The limitation of CRL model or the source environments except the fully coherent layers is required for regenerating feature map on an input for testing. The size of the source environment may be too big to fit in low end devices like mobile devices. In our research, we can provide cloud servers, a feature map generation as the basic interface, such as application programming into API as lightweight. Well. Class representative CR generation was obtained by extracting abstraction of the distribution of each feature in the class representative feature space of the input image. For the purpose, we use the simple average mean approach. The CR can be sensitive to outliers and sample bias of the CRF is, is. The CRL model was extremely strong at, at the top five inferencing compared to the top one inferencing. The CR computation might not be accurate due to the bias of unexpected outliers. This indicates that the high similarity between the source CRs can lead to misclassification. To overcome limitations of the CR generation, we will explore the advanced optical models such as Fisher Vector or Gaussian Mixture Model. We can also use the unsupervised deep learning techniques such as autoencoder and the learning efficient data encodings to reduce the CR's feature space to more optimal representation. We can further extend it to determine the common unique features of the CR vectors and find weights and maximize the uniqueness between the CRs. Some conclusion. We presented the class representative leaning CRL uh, model that is based on the class level classifiers built by class by class. It will be written of instance specific class by utilizing activation feature conversion neural networks referring to new cases. The characteristics of the CRLs are high efficiency being compared lightweight it was possible because CRs can be genetic in parallel and distributed manner inferencing can be conducted through matching inputs with CRs. Comprehensive evaluation have been conducted with CRL model compared to the state of the art of worries, but both in classification zero shot learning using the four benchmark data sets. The CR model was shown to increase accuracy and reduce considerably time for building CNN based classifiers. Okay, so this was quite engaging paper. Uh, thank you very much for listening. You made it to the end. Please do not like and uh, never subscribe. And yeah, I hope to see you next time. See you, see you, see you.